Hello everyone, this is Star Mike, and welcome to Life is Strange. Uh, it's an episodic game that would turn out to be one of my favorites, and um, a welcome change um, from all of the Telltale um, episodic games that I normally play. I've now I'm a bit behind at the moment. Uh, episode four is out, and Soon, episode 5 is gonna come out, and um, I'm gonna try and um, complete um, this game all the way up to episode 4, or before con <laughs> Bloody hell, my English. Before episode 5 comes out. So, without further ado, let let's begin. Now, I've played around, like, maybe 30 minutes of episode 1, but uh, I had to restart. And um, there will be sections where our choices affect the game later on, like most episodic games, especially Telltale. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm These in class. Everything's cool. Room. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw- Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. I don't know much She saw about humanity as tortured, right? So it's like photos, and frankly, but... it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Sure. I... Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark okay, corner the and capture you in a moment of desperation. If anybody else looked on, at this, um, like, what would they think? Max's thoughts and also the characters um, that Max encounters. So far, we've encountered Max, Kate, and uh, Jefferson. Uh, I'm gonna skip as much as I can and um, not spend too much time with this. Otherwise, I know it won't be interesting.
easy? Too obvious? What if Argus okay. chose to capture people at the height oh, of their oh, no, listen. innocence? But in the meantime, she had a brilliant eye. Let so me take a selfie. She could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> the point is remains quite that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I don't know. I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there right in front of my who idol. knows their stuff? Great. Louis Guerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now he's totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. She's personally knows Victoria. what she's talking about. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <laughs> oh, please. Well... If, um... Victoria you didn't... doesn't waste a second kissing ass. If you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so... You see the door? I know, Mr. Jefferson. Couldn't resist. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. Nice. I just really think... Oh, and I got an achievement for this. Cool. Um, okay, let's quickly talk to Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Um... You seem quiet today. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. <laughs> um, well... I refuse to believe Victoria wins, so wanna go... Wanna grab a cup of tea? I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Yeah. I forgot to mention that Victoria's rich. Victoria's rich. My bad. If uh, you haven't read uh, the previous um, biography of her, uh, let's quickly speak to Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never That's let right, photography's bitch. future stars avoid handing in her picture. Um, do I have to? Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. <laughs> I would like to have him as my photography teacher. If I ever took photography. Well, let's have a look at this. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Okay, let's read. Uh, you know, best represent yourself in other as an heroic action. Uh, October 15, 2013. So now it's September. The winner will fly to San Francisco to represent the school. 
Yes. Okay, so let's continue. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying on you. Welcome to the real world. That's cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Charlie's lab. They're just getting you ready because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point? She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so freaking boring. Okay, and now we're going on to the credits. Okay, and relieve the stress with music. Chrysalis. Besides Kate, um, Max's other friend is called, uh, like, Wallace, I think? Yeah, he's, uh, like, a physics geek who, um, is very interested in Max. I don't know if, uh, he had crush on her, but, let's see. Everything could. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. And also, besides Victoria, the bitch, there is also a, her boyfriend who's also rich, but we will we'll be finding something very surprising about him. Okay, and... Sorry, I forgot to splash my face. What's this? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. God damn it. Um, right, use. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Oh, come on, don't say that. I... When the door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Are we gonna get a butterfly effect soon? Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Okay, sure. Let's take a photo. Sweet. And hey, girls toilets. Oh, and uh, yeah, for that's Nathan. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Now. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. Oh. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Oh. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing oh, around with. Oh, I. What are oh, you doing? Crap. 
Come on, put that okay. thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, no. oh, oh no. Oh crap, I... And... Oh jeez, and... Or that, oh, or not, Whoa. what? What the fuck? What? How? How can that be? Was that a butterfly I was effect? In the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us in I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Oh, oh, can you give me oh, an example crap. of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe this. Oh no, it was such a good camera. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? What? Why Arvis? Um. I don't think we can really reverse time. Maybe see the future in segments like uh, Nicolas Cage in Next. I did it. I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't yeah, freak yeah. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Just why are before we continue? Well, let's uh, if anybody uh, else looked at this, what would they think? Yeah, but this is where we uh, find out of our, our abilities. And we're essentially Nicolas Cage from next. Okay, um, okay, there's Nathan, who's also uh, a rich gobshite, and Victoria's Chase's boyfriend. And apparently his uh, family, um, had, his family, he has their face in almost every building in, um, Arcadia Bay. Okay, there's, some um, mail, oh, there we go, SMS. Oh, yeah, Warren, not um, Wallace, my dad. Yeah, Warren's uh, the physics geek in um, Max's class who has an interest in her. And Kate's um, is Max's closest friend. Okay, so one crystal. Well, okay, these are the photos that we took. Well, that we will take. Let me see. Okay, so we're gonna keep watch for this. Well, I'll keep watch for this as much as I can. Okay, let's take another selfie. took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Yeah, has we're a Nicolas Cage. Art and photography I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits. Uh, I have to use I'm the bathroom. Sorry, but I really have to use really, the bathroom. Really? Can I? Nice try, Max. Can't I but just give him the answer? Easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Louis class, and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp, reflective style, like a mirror. Now he's totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Faces, okay, making so, them extremely um, whenever this icon appears, this the first chat bubble that I can now rewind so time. Okay, let's just hold shift quickly. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self? Yeah, I'm sure I'll use Victoria's answer. 
The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named <gasps> Louis Daguerre. I feel like such a cheap right now. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <laughs> the Daguerrean process <laughs> made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, Thank don't you. forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Ever Jordan Harry, everyday superhero. Oh, let's speak to Kate. Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look pale. Kate, um, uh, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. Oh, yeah, I have to go, sorry. Too much happening right now. Sure. Okay, and um, feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. Let's speak to him first. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, I'm not avoiding, just biding time, waiting for the elusive right moment exactly max don't wait too long john lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans go on now don't let me stop you um yeah sure uh let's um undo our, our last fuck up uh oh control my bad moment in the camera I am okay let's speak excuse to him me. again mr. Jefferson can I talk to you for a moment yes excuse you no Victoria excuse us I'd never let one of photography's future just skip this for a moment John Lennon I'm on said top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans Max you're on fire today all the right answers good make sure you finish working on it by today I have faith in you I definitely got Victoria in her crosshairs. Okay, anyway, let's go save that girl. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll Sprint, think I'm crazy. Sprint, Max. Sprint, Max. Sprint. Okay, Max. Retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in. It's the butterfly and effect. And I took a photo. Or, no, no, it doesn't really have to do anything with it. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What oh, are crap. you doing? Right now? Come on, put that Ever. thing down! Tell me what to do. Wowzer, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. Oh. I'm gonna get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me! Oh crap, she said. Oh, okay, let's Holy quickly shit. rewind time. I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Okay, now we have enough time. Of people trying to control me. You are going to get a hell of Wait, I have the hammer already? Okay. Nobody right, use the hammer. Fire up the alarm. Day. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. Oh crap. Busted. That did not happen. This cannot be real. Okay. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. You're Nicolas Cage. You can see the future and you can change it. Hey, 
Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then hey. trip on out of here, Missy. You're a freaking you security something? guard. You're... Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Hmm. <laughs> Honkass. Okay, let's... Is that the principal? I think it is. Uh, Prin White. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. Well, you're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Okay, so uh, there's no timer on this, which is good, so uh, it'll give us enough time to think about what, how we can pick. I would like to report Nathan. He would probably go in prison for this and get expelled. And uh, he'll shame his family, which I like. But at the same time, um, there will be rumors of me being a snitch, and either Victoria or Nathan will want payback, and it will not be good on me. Um, but I don't know, the other girl could report or Nathan to the principal, maybe, unless, um, well, Nathan can cover it up. He's part of this elitist school that supposedly controls um, uh, Blackwell. Um, you know what? That's the same choice I picked when um, I first uh, did this section. So, how about for the sake of it, let's go and hide the true fight. I don't know what reporting Nathan would do, but really, I don't want to risk it. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. The truth can There's be harmful as well sometimes. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with the class. Please. You know what? No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, um. I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Hmm. <laughs> You won't be able to undo your choices after leaving this. Um, let's... Let's quickly unwind for a moment. All the way back. And see what happens if we tell oh, um, the principal about Nathan. And all the way back. Okay. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? Okay, let's just skip. And report Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of 
course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Should we always quickly rewind again? I... I have a feeling that, um, I just... There's gonna be a lot of consequence if I tell him about Nathan, so, um... Let's bring it back to our original choice. Oh, crap, and I think... You look a little stressed. I don't out. think we can. Are you okay? Rewind I'm, too much. I'm okay. So um, let's skip. Hide the truth. And skip I again. Okay, this action will have consequence. So don't wander around here. Get on outside. Oh, I couldn't get it out of there last time. Um. Okay. Yeah, and uh, at this point, whatever choice we make, hey, uh, we'll stick with it. I think there'll be other ways of um, reporting Nathan, but I'm not gonna... I can change... Okay, there is Mrs. Grant. I just quickly speak to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure. I always have time for you. What's the petition? We can always rewind. David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. It could have helped. It could have helped Rachel. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage. From the Native Americans who founded this land, to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell's that old? Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, but before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to oh, keep there's our a campus from going back to 1984? Uh, sure. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Uh. This action will have consequence, I... Uh, hmm. Well... This will increase security, but... Hmm. You know what? I'll leave it at that. Whatever choice if we make, uh, we might as well stick with them. Okay, uh... Oh, that's how we get to the journal. Hello? Sorry, light. Let's... I meet you in the, in the lot. Looking for what well, you'll see. My camera will be ready. See you sh surely. Hope so. Sure thing, Okay, Nathan. I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Alright, um... Oh, never mind. I thought that I was uh, warned. Brooke, Blackwell Academy. Uh, hmm. Special panel. I. Hi, how's it going? I have no idea what that is, but... Alright, let's keep going to the dorm. I... 
Uh, okay, there aren't trees that way. What is going on today? Um. Yeah, sure, I left my spot today. Come on, Logan, bring it, Brock. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Um, the dormant. Huh. Nice. This this looks so much better than uh, all of the other Telltale games that I normally play. Pay up, bitch. <sighs> really? No. Oh. No, I don't want to speak with her. Is that... hmm. Is that Kate? If I told Warren what's going on, would he laugh? Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there <laughs> anything... Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Jeez. Hmm. Okay, there is the janitor. Hmm. That's the main door. Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Okay, well... Let's see what happens, and if we fuck up, we can oh, just for one time all the time. Field, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh wait, hold that pose. Bitch. So original. Don't right. worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it you know on what? social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. Mm -hmm. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Let's rewind. And wait, we can't? God, what? I don't want the conversation with Victoria to happen. What the hell? Hmm. Well, at least I can get to the dorm this time. Okay, the... You know what? Let's... This rain sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's increase the flow. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. And okay, the ma the janitor didn't mind too much. Sure, let's come through. Love me way, bitches. Do you understand English? Get lost. Oh, hi. Hmm. I need. Can I use one of these bricks? No, I can't. Hmm. Gotta move this somehow.